Hi, so um, this video is about a new trend report that I'm writing. Um, you can see some of the details in the background. Uh, it's broadly about AI at work. Um, I write and do videos about future of work, and so it's fitting that AI is covered since it'll have such huge ramifications for work in the future. Uh, please subscribe and share this video if you like it and come back for more um, because I'll be covering this. So what I want to touch on in this video today, just one aspect of what I will cover in my report. It's essentially around the adoption of new technology and the people aspects of technology adoption, and also specifically around AI technology adoption. Uh, having been in the customer success business for a long time, I've learned a thing or two about technology adoption. Uh, the customer success role is, is often focused on that, amongst other things. Um, one thing I've learned is that companies are still thinking they can make technology available to employees without really supporting adoption. So here in this chart, I just want to talk you through a couple of things that, that point out, um, you know, the challenges with adoption in the enterprise. I mean, if you look at the top um, and especially on the right at the curve, the adoption curve of ChatGPT. Um, well, you notice two things. One, um, it's pretty much exponential, and and a lot of technologies that take off are are, are that way. Um, second thing to note is it took three months for ChatGPT to reach a hundred million users. Um, if you compare that to Facebook and the internet and mobile, um, you can see that respectively that's four and a half uh, years, seven years, and 16 years. Now, the thing, the other thing to note about that is predominantly that's referring to consumer tech, or at least the individual's take up of technology. So, um, you know, when it comes to enterprise technology, adoption is much more complex. I mean, companies are, by their very nature, more complex than the individual and you know you have to take so many more things into consideration um so when you know technology changes exponentially and takes off it's in the consumer space the thing is it often comes to the enterprise um but the way that companies and the enterprise um adopt the technology is different and that's just because they're different in nature and and the way that they um, adopt and change fundamentally is 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 logarithmically um, whereas technology change is often exponential, especially with very attractive um, new technologies. The thing is, um, you know, innovative companies, agile companies will try keeping up. And they do that by focusing on technology adoption. And I'm going to deep dive into that in a little more detail shortly. So what I want to just show you now is a magazine where I curate articles and I'll share a link to this. But here you can see lots and lots of articles based on research, basically, um, which is really finding that here, for example, study finds AI revolu uh, revolution moving at a crawl in enterprise. Uh, but it's at a high priority. You know, AI puts every CEO on the hot seat um, and they're on the hook for it. Um, but as you can see, there's, you know, lots of attention on adoption. Um, Again, you'll you'll be able to see this. I'm I'm capturing a lot of articles. I'm using it for my trend report. So, but yeah, as you can see, um, you know, it's the adoption is being pointed out and um, and how to kind of deal with this. And so, um, yeah, just wanted to point that out. On to the point I wanted to make about um, how how you can leverage, um, you know, um, as we're doing um, uh, strategies. But tools as well. Um, Microsoft Viva is the employee experience platform. I work on this as well. Um, it's got a lot of components that align to the strategy for technology adoption. For example, um, Viva Engage is a community platform, and you need to build communities around um, uh, new technologies. And um, and and Viva Learning is a knowledge management um, and learning tool where you can upskill and grow your employees' knowledge, um, and that's especially important when it comes to um, new technology adoption. Um, and then goal setting and management, Viva Amplify. So I'm going to take you through a quick demo. I just wanted to point out how we, um, you know, we are, we're using and positioning Viva as a, as a, as a way to 
um, think about and do technology adoption. So let's dive into a quick demo. This is um, Amplify, and you can see here I've just got, this is a demo environment, that's a campaign. Um, so if I dive into the campaign, um, you'll see campaigns are made up of publications. Um, and now you'll see um, a quick list of just some of the publications focused on driving um, communications around different aspects of, of co-pilot use. Um, and, you know, it's basically nudges and, and, and pointers to employees about where they can go to for, for learning, understanding, knowledge, etc. This is a team environment where, for example, a, a, an Amplify campaign has ended up and you can, you can share, you can, you know, send campaign publications to Teams channels, as you can see here. It can go to SharePoint, Outlook, um, and soon to Viva Engage um, communities. Um, so let me just jump into Viva Learning, the, the upskilling and growth um, app uh, within Viva. And here you can see a co-pilot academy where you can create uh, learning paths around new skills. Um, and all of these are focused on co-pilot, obviously, but it could be any AI um, uh, technology. Um, now on to Viva Engage, where again, the community platform essentially. So imagine creating an environment where users can go to ask questions, get answers, um, you know, buddy up essentially with, with colleagues that are on the same learning path and, and or, or maybe no more and, and can answer some yeah. of your questions. Um, so that's all access through teams um, where you work. And so we don't want you to leave your flow of work. Um, so now I've just clicked on Viva Pulse. Um, when it loads, you'll see that this is a really super simple survey tool so that those managing adop adoption can ask uh, users um, questions about, you know, how, how they're doing, um, how they're getting along. And, they, and you can track these responses over time. If you send the same survey, um, you'll get responses and you can check how sentiment is changing over time. This is really just the beginning. So. Um, hopefully that was of use. So as I say, just a, a little flavor of, of, of you know, some of the issues, some of the ways uh, myself and colleagues are thinking about things. Um, yeah, and this is going to feature in my um, trend report. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, again, uh, please share if um, you, know, you, you find this interesting. Um, check out the description for more details, all the links that I spoke about. Keep experimenting, stay productive, always be learning. Thank you for watching.